Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to a new video. So today's video then is part two. It follows on from my previous video where I showed you guys a couple of six figure stores um, that were turning over six figures per month. I showed you the products, etc. Um, quite a few people commented part two. They wanted a part two, a follow on from that video. So thank you very much to everybody who did comment. Um, so this is part two then. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you one more store. So a six figure store um, turning over six figures per month. It's best selling products. The Facebook ads it's running, it's store absolutely everything. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to show you how I found these stores so make sure you stay tuned for that because it's an important skill to have in any business is to make sure that you keep learning um, and the best place to learn is from those existing stores that are producing those good results so just to make sure really that you keep up to trend with what products are currently selling what style of Facebook ads are working um, just those kind of things if you missed part one make sure you go and check it out I will put a link um, it'll be the first link in the video description below I'll also put it in a comment too so you can't miss it um, and just go check those stores out really they're quite interesting they're both general stores there were some pretty cool products in fact that I've never seen myself before so it just goes to show that when you do do the research and you check out stores you've never seen before then you will come across some products that you might not otherwise find so yeah make sure you check out part one that being said thanks for tuning in I hope you enjoyed this part two and uh, yeah let's get straight into store number one what's up guys so here we are then on store number one it's called little style shop um, just to show you kind of like a generalized overview then um, they have free shipping store wide so they do ship internationally and they have a hundred percent lifetime guarantee on all their products too so it's quite a bold claim but obviously it's a brilliant way of gaining that kind of trust and proof and kind of giving that guarantee to your customers so they feel safe shopping with you even though they might not know who you are the fact that you're offering a 100% lifetime guarantee shows you have confidence in your products as you can see then they sell multiple products from different niches so again this is a general store general stores do work um, don't let anybody else tell you otherwise and then apart from that that's pretty much it as you can see it's quite basic um, and there's not really a lot else to show you guys. We can go to their catalog and see the other kinds of products um, that they sell. But at the end of the day, you guys can go into their store and see this information for yourselves. What we're interested in then is we want to find out what their best selling product is. And we want to find out exactly how many units of that product um, they are selling. Essentially then as a whole, what we want to look at is their sales funnel because that is what we want to then take notes from and even replicate and use as inspiration to implement into our own store. So when I refer to the sales funnel, I'm referring to um, the ad that they're running the products that they're selling and then the product page um, as well it's always really important to have a look at the product page because lots of different stores use lots of different styles and they work for lots of different products too so if we just use this handy little chrome extension it's called shopify inspector 100 percent free it's going to give us a bunch of interesting information and um, that we can use ourselves so number one their shopify theme that they're using is called debut this is a free theme that anybody can install and um, once you've signed up to a shopify plan it'll tell you the bunch of different applications um, this store is using but what is most interesting is their best selling products and it kind of lists it uh, from top to bottom in best selling to worst selling so we can see straight away from this particular store their best selling product is this posture corrector now this is where this store gets quite interesting or at least it does for me um, because they don't really use like a textbook um, product page layout as you can see it's quite kind of just random and all over the place um, at the moment there's no kind of signs of an add to cart button or anything like that and then once we stroll down um, this is essentially where the customer can make a purchase so it's very different to typically what I would teach or typically what I would recommend but as I'm about to show you this is what's working for these guys and it's all about testing to find out and um, what works the next thing I want to show you then is proof that this store is absolutely killing it and doing really well um, and that is proven then by how much traffic they're getting so this extension is called similarweb.com it'll give you kind of like this drawer that pops out and gives you um, this information you can see on your screen but if we go across to more insights it's going to give us a load more information that will help us kind of understand what this store is doing um, so again we have that information we can then start to implement that kind of strategy um, into our own stores number one then is the traffic overview as we can see these guys are consistently getting over 100,000 visits per month which is very good if you watched in part one the difficult thing with drop shipping is getting these consistent results it's easy to find or at least it was for me that what that first initial products that did really well but what I struggled with then was having that next product so again to keep the traffic up keep the sales up and overall just maintain a profitable business one thing I can tell you about these guys is that the fact that they're driving consistently really decent traffic numbers so over a hundred thousand per month in fact 150,000 as you can see was the lowest in October and then these guys have gone as high as 360,000 which is really good um, they wouldn't be able to 
bring this amount of traffic in without paying for ads and ads are expensive so what i'm trying to say then is these guys are making a profit there's no way they would consistently get these traffic numbers um, if they weren't profitable next thing is we can see where the traffic come from majority from us so if this is a product you want to have a go with then i recommend focusing on the us next thing is the traffic sources 68 percent is from socials which is a good sign because the chances are these guys are paying for ads and then where this store gets really interesting um, if we just scroll down it will actually tell us what social platform this traffic is coming from and as we can see it's coming from YouTube so these guys are running ads on YouTube now this is something I've started to experiment with myself because in terms of the e-commerce world in comparison to Facebook at least then it's not very competitive whatsoever so if you guys do want some um, content on YouTube ads and the kind of things I've been getting up to and um, then just leave some sort of comment down below so that being said then guys we've seen the shop we've seen the amount of traffic they're getting we've seen their best selling products now we want to see the kind of Facebook ads they're running so I headed over to YouTube I put little style shop in and within about 10 seconds I was able to find their YouTube page it's the same logo everything and they've got three different videos so what this tells me is this these are the three different video ads that they've been experimenting with. And if you just look at the view numbers, so 180 subscribers, and this video here has got 15 million views. So this video here is by far their most successful. And this video here, the chances are, has drove the majority of that traffic and the majority of the sales. So if you're watching this video now then as a beginner and you're not quite sure where to start, then in this video I've just shown you um, a six figure product. I've just shown you a product page layout that you can replicate. And I'm about to show you the ad then um, to produce those results. So essentially head over to this page and replicate something similar. Don't use the same content, don't chop and change it. If you're serious about creating a business that's gonna be sustainable and make you lots of money, then you have to be original, you have to create your own content and you have to do things from scratch it's just going to come across as so much more professional and you're not going to run the risk of receiving some sort of cease and desist or getting your facebook ad account banned so that being said then guys that is the facebook ad that is pretty much everything i wanted to show you with this store um, if you want more videos like this in the future make sure you just let me know in the comment section below i tend to go on what kind of reaction these videos get and what kind of comments i see so if you do want me to do kind of more store reviews and show you more products etc make sure you leave a comment down below um, so that's kind of like the first part of the video done the second part of the video is i want to show you how i found these stores and it's only going to take me a couple of minutes to be honest it's actually really easy to do so i'll take you back to the beginning of the process let's go back to google um, and all you want to do then is if you just type in my ip dot ms and then space shopify as you can see i've searched this before um, and then the one that you're looking for is this one here that comes up with shopify um, incorporated if you just click on that as you can see i have done before it's going to take you to this page here and essentially what this is is it lists all the current websites that are using shopify as a host so essentially these are all the shopify stores um, in the world basically or all the kind of active and current ones and as we can see the number one is obviously myshopify.com and then number two is colorpop.com and what you'll soon be surprised by in fact is when you start scrolling through these you'll start seeing some big names um, some home names if that's the right term some home brand names um, that everybody's heard of so Jeffree Star Cosmetics um, was a big one gymshack.com I'm pretty sure most people will have heard of um, on page two on VQ fit again um, another big company blendjet.com which is obviously Jen Selter's company which is one of the biggest kind of fitness influencers um, on Instagram you've got Vitaly Design MBMT watches Hygo shop again I'll just show you this one quickly um, I've covered these guys before in another video, but this is one of the biggest, if not the biggest general store on Shopify at the moment. And these guys have been in business for, um, I don't know how long actually, but it's at least years and years and years. So these guys are consistently able to produce those profitable results. So again, another um, store that you guys should definitely, definitely, definitely check out. With that being said, then in terms of actually finding these general stores, um, what I tend to do is actually just kind of flick through these every kind of maybe once a week, um, maybe once every couple of weeks because it updates and you'll see that kind of stores go up and down the list depending on how big they are, how much traffic they're getting. But when you go through these stores, you can kind of pick out which ones are like the dropship in general stores by what their name. So for example, Hygo Shop, it's quite a general name for a shop. Typicalgoodies.com, again, this featured in part one, the previous video. And Typical Goodies kind of just lends itself to that kind of general store. And as you can see, they sell general products. And then the other thing you can do as well, which is actually really handy. So if, for example, you are in a dog niche, you can come on here. And if you just put dog in here, 
um, and then hit search. It's gonna give you all the websites that have the word dog in. So you can go through all these different sites, open them up and just find ones that are actually drop shipping dog products, see what their best selling products are and then just go from there. And with that being said, guys, I'm going to wrap the video up. I think I've been talking for kind of like 11, 12 minutes. If you're still with me, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do make sure you let me know by hitting that like button. Any comments or questions, whatever you want to ask me, I do um, answer every single person. So again, just make sure you leave your comment down below. Uh, make sure you subscribe for regular content. Uh, have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.